Okay, so what we're going to be working on here is a rotator cuff. Okay, and so rotator cuff is a very important aspect of the shoulder. The shoulder is a very tough joint because there's so much mobility within the joint. You need the stability to be able to support that and still allow for the mobility. And so the rotator cuff is really the instrumental part of the shoulder to help stabilize the shoulder, prevent further arthritis or breakdown or bone spurs forming. And so the rotator cuff will be basically one of the main things that we strengthen when it comes to a lot of different shoulder exercises, or shoulder injuries. So with the rotator cuff and with the shoulder, a lot of times there's a progression that we do. Usually we'll start at a lower position where we're more comfortable. So in this position you have 30 degrees of abduction. So you're going to be doing some strengthening at this 30 degrees abduction. After we do that, if we get to the point where we're able to progress and you're not that sore following working hard at 30 degrees of abduction, we move you up to 45 degrees of abduction and then all the way up to 90 degrees of abduction. Once you're at 90 degrees of abduction, then you're ready to begin more of the overhead type of sports and more overhead type of return to throwing, volleyball, basketball, water polo, all those overhead type of sports. Tennis, a lot of them are very big when it comes to the overhead motion. And so once again, with this machine, what we do is we start at this lower position and then we build our way up to our ideal position. So go ahead and pull back and we're just gonna do one set here nice and easy. notice that was really fast so that was not a lot of resistance because of how fast it was that's one of the things I should have mentioned to you to work a little bit faster here because the shoulder is a, a, a joint that we end up using especially in the athletic scene we end up using at high speed we usually will train at a little bit higher speed each of these sets right now we're going to go a little bit slower a little bit slower though so you'll feel a little bit more resistance so you kind of get used to the speed and then the resistance as well and uh, once again, something that as we are going through the sets, we're going to work a little bit harder, a little bit harder, a little bit harder as you get loose. And once again, we're gonna have different muscle fibers built within our shoulder. And so working at different speeds allow us to train all those different muscle fibers and get you most prepared that we can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. And how does that feel there? Does that feel okay? Feels good. Okay, so once again, this is something that, this would usually be where we would start post-surgical, nice and easy. And once again, we wouldn't be doing as much resistance in an early situation right after surgery, but we can still actually start strengthening even the day after surgery with a machine like this because we're not setting any specific amount of weight on there. We're just allowing you to push as hard as you feel like you're comfortable, so it's much safer. So go ahead and do one more set there, a little bit slower there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, go ahead and rest, and now we're going to show you what the next progression looks like. <laughs> 